baby, don't. Come here. Come on. Let me see here. Over here. Oh. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down, baby. Oh, it's okay. Let me see. Hmm. I'm at the vet's office. I just saw this just now. Welcome, teddy bear. Huh. Right. He threw his hip out, playing with the cat. He doesn't play, but he just decided to hide her playing. It's just been a really odd yesterday and today. I'm having some struggles in Texas, so if I'm not posting, there's just some stuff not going as expected. Hmm, it's like Groundhog Day, you know. Uh, so, we'll see. They're going to have to x-ray him. They're going to sedate him. And he's sitting there crying. I don't know if you can hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay, baby. It's going to be okay. They'll get you all fixed up. Okay? No, no, no. Don't get up. Don't. It's that one right there. He won't put any weight on it at all. <sighs> okay, this is really hard. They said that, I was like, yeah, go ahead, let's x-ray it and everything. And they're like, but if it's dislocated, then he has to go off to surgery you know, and it's two, three thousand dollars plus this. It's like, I'm like, what? So I have to call my sister because this is, this, I'm, I'm like, do nothing. I'm going to go home and she's giving me some pain meds for him and then I'm going to come to a realization of what's really going on here. Um, and they, at the, because of his age, is it worth it? Because it's going to require a lot of care and he can't travel and it's not really gonna, I mean, there's other, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, so, uh, uh. It's likely, well, that his hip is dislocated, and at his age, it's not worth fixing. How do you say that? How do you say that? How do I say that? <sighs> Came out of the vets, and it just started pouring rain. And I had to get Teddy in the house, carrying him, and oh my god, it just seemed like too, too much drama in the weather. I'm waiting for the rainbow. So I don't know what's going on, really, other than they just gave me pain meds. And the vet's like, yeah, 3,000 plus, and then that's just the beginning of other problems. Because he has, I, I just, I don't know. I just wasn't ready today for that. I'm sitting here contemplating, like, when you have the choice of when, within a certain time period, you're like, do, do I drag it out and make this a whole thing and bring in, you know, the original mother? And, you know, like, just, or do I just do it and, and then get on with the morning? Or do I do this whole honorary thing? I just feel like it's torture and then more torture. So why not cut it in half and just get it over with and, you know, instead of doing this. For how long? 
I think I know the answer. I think the answer is like, just do some research, prepare, and just do it, and then mourn it, and get on with it. Because the timing of this is just, it's just all divinely guided. I can see that. Let's just divinely guide this gut-wrenching thing and move on. It's been 24 hours since that last clip. And I'm obviously a lot calmer. I just don't have any tears left. I really don't. And the shock of it and the fear of it is has subsided a little bit. I I have come to the decision that based on the last 24 hours since that video that I will be uh you know getting him or I got him some pain meds today and some tranquilizers. I'm I'm going to sit on the floor so I can hold him. He's really obviously very clingy. Um, and anyway, what I wanted to say is I got meds. I called the doctor and I said, because he was only on anti-inflammatories, which was like an Advil or something. And he clearly needs pain meds and tranquilizers because he keeps trying to walk. So I went and picked those up. Sorry, but I, you obviously I'm a little, uh, you know, <laughs> my special little secret language is back. And so then today I got the meds and, and pain meds and tranquilizers. So he would stop walking around. I'm having to pick him up and he's, he would walk and his legs are, his front legs are spreading and, oh, it's, so I'm like, I've got to get this over with. And then I got the tranquilizers and the pain meds and now I feel like, okay, he's taking a break and it's, I'm not running around and he's not in pain and not being tortured. And so it kind of gives me a chance to regroup and I'm losing the house. I'm losing the kitchen. You know, I'm not picking up after myself. I'm just really attending to him and making sure he eats so he can take his medication. But the question that really came up for me and is still coming up for me is how long, I mean, I, I was like, oh, I just, Friday, I just, I, I need this gone. I need his torture and my torture gone. But now today I'm like, well, you know, how long if he's not in pain? So they gave me a week's worth of medicine, but his appointment's Monday at 2. And uh, if you guys have any tips or advice on, you know, like, do you, like, do you gather up all this stuff now? It's conf it's hard because he's still with me, and I understand, and I'm having the time with him, and this special time, I bought him his favorite little ice cream, and I give him little pieces of that, and and I, I feel like today I have no tears left in me, so you're safe, um, unless someone calls me. Um, but I guess my question is, is like, many of you have been through this. And if you have any tips for me, because I'm alone. Uh, my sister, Jacqueline's already in Michigan. Jennifer's on her way and Jeannie's leaving in a day. Every, and everyone's headed up there. So I'm going through this without, um, oops, let me have that. There's a lot of things you guys don't know about Teddy. And when I am in the mood, I will make my informational memorial video and um, celebrate his life. Because he was my little spirit guy. I'm sorry for any hurt or pain that you feel for me because that's not what I'm trying to do is hurt you. I'm just sharing with you my hurt. Some of you have camped with Teddy. Some of you know Teddy. You know his little idiosyncrasies and you know his nickname. <laughs> he had a nickname. He has a nickname. He's not. Freak. <laughs> He's a little freak. He has these funny little things that he does. 
And many of you know what they are. They're just, they're, they're odd. He was a strange dog. We'd say he's not a dog. But I'm, thank you for just watching my pain and my confusion. And then thank you for the future watching my PTSD. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but you're gonna watch it, just so you know. It could be fun. PTSD isn't all bad, you know. There can be some pretty entertaining, crazy moments of me trying to avoid or pretend or I'm not in pain or whatever the decisions I make. Who knows? I know what PTSD is. That's for sure. I would like to ask for everyone's patience and kindness and considerateness during this time for other commenters, people who might be suggesting things that, or, or making statements, just, just people sometimes don't know what to say or what to do. So just let people handle it in their own way. And, and my videos are going to be not as edited. I don't have time for it, but I am going to share. And they could be better, but oh my God, what else is new, right? It's just a, this is just a more of a blog, not a video presentation. And I'm, this is unknown territory for me. It's just unknown. I don't know what I'm doing. And so I don't really care if people are mad at my editing or what I'm posting. I don't really care. I don't care. I'm going to do whatever and post and share whatever is real for me. <laughs> what else do you, what else do you want? Some phony crap? <sighs> so, be, be nice. Uh, and I'm going to be nice to me and I'll be nice to you. Sorry. Don't, duh. Okay. Okay, enough. I'm having some PTSD, huh? Bear with me.